Hello, uh, I got a leak on the BMW 750Li. Uh, actually, I realized the color of the uh, leak looks like a coolant. Um, I tried to do the root cause analysis to see where the leak is coming from. So I'm going to show you how to do the diagnostics. Actually, this uh, procedure almost applies to any leak on the uh, any BMW. So. But for today, we are just going to uh, focus on this BMW 7 Series. So this is the E66 2007 BMW 750Li. I made all the tools ready to show it to you how to uh, basically uh, find where the leak is coming from. So first of all, we are going to remove this portion. So you have four screws, actually I loosen it, but anyway. Um, So you need to get your T basically here, uh, which is TX25, I believe. So I lose it already. But don't forget always have your safety gloves and uh, safety glasses as well. So after removing these screws, put it in a safe place. So this one is loose and basically, but you cannot still remove it because uh, connected to this area, this area, and this area. So we are getting a flat screwdriver. Sorry, I didn't need to. So I need to open this. It doesn't matter which one you're opening it. Loosen this. Loosen the other one. Actually, it was loose already because I opened before. So now, uh, basically, you can remove. Um, this portion. So remove these clips. And wiggle it. It comes off. That's your air filter, which is really dirty. dirty. I'm going to replace it. Actually, not a bad idea to clean up the area, maybe with the vacuum cleaner or, but as you see, there is a dust over there. The same thing in here, remove the clips. Actually, one of my clips is missing already. Wiggle it. So, 
for moving this one, I need to loosen this part to, to be able to see what's going on. Actually, the process is pretty easy. You just need to be a little bit confident. Careful because these two connections you can just if you want you can leave it here. Actually we can do something too. Uh, we can open this one as well. You need Second, num second number 10 for that. Basically just the cover, the top cover. So this one you don't need to disattach it, this one will sit here. So basically all the pipes uh, and everything is accessible here to see where it is coming from. So there's a few points to check basically. The coolant pipe is going here, going down. But anyway, after checking everything and touching it, I realized the hose is just going to the coolant housing here. This is the area is leaking. So there is no leak down there. The pipe and everything, all, all the connections, I checked it. So basically, uh, this pipe has a lock mechanism at the very end, which locks to the housing. Um, the lock is, never gets worn, basically. But the o-ring inside, uh, by the time it's getting uh, old and worn and causing the leak. 
So for uh, uh, opening this guy, I need another T. Which is TX30, it says. But anyway, you can find your own T. So there's one screw on this side. I think it's the other one, TK or the other, this one. But anyway, the numbers doesn't matter because the T1, you can, if you have a kit, you can try and see which one is fit. And there is another one in here. So, straight up, basically it's here. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to disassemble everything, just let me open the lock. Basically there is a pin, I'm not sure if you can see or not. Just need to pull that lock off. Pull the lock up and then pull the pipe straight out of the housing. So I cannot show it completely to you because it is sitting inside of the pipe, but inside of the pipe with the tool, I can show it to you with this tool. I can remove the Boring inside. This is the o ring. Basically, I measured it. The thickness is around 3 millimeter, and the uh, other diameter around 21 millimeter. So you need to, any o-ring you are going to replace, you need to measure it anyway to, to find the exact match. You can order a kit, basically there is a uh, BMW uh, uh, o-ring set, you can buy that one or you can order from any, any other uh, supplier, just make sure this is the same size. So actually I ordered a kit which is 225 pieces and this is my ordering basically, the same size, almost exactly the same size. So I need to fit the o-ring back inside. This is a little bit tricky. You need to put the corner. Mm. 
location is around 15 millimeters inside of the uh, pipe. Okay, so the o-ring is sitting in the place. Nice and clean. Let's make sure. Yep. Looks like a perfect size. So we are ready to put everything back. So if the leak is somewhere else down, this will be the same lock mechanism. You need to remove the pipe and find the exact o-ring and replace it. So actually there's a guide here. You cannot just insert any direction you want. As I see, there is a that here. That way. In and then push the lock back. Make sure lock is tight in place. Ready. Again, this one container has the whole thing has a guide underneath. You need to sit in place. Yeah, that's good. So I prefer to uh, clean up with the vacuum cleaner.
Würfel zu kriegen, ist eine gute Idee. Mois Tissue. Because I ordered the, the filter to replace the filter at the same time because the filter is so dirty and looks like it hasn't been changed for a while. Okay. So we are ready. So the thing you need to be careful, these things are, I think I like it not for the screw, they are moving. So you need to put it back aligned with the hole. Otherwise you won't be able to close this. So this one sit in place, these nuts are aligned. That we can close. Pretty easy. Actually, this is TX thirty. The other one is eighteen, maybe. But then anyway, I can't find it. So underneath we didn't remove the sensor, those kind of stuff to make it complicated. We did it as easy as possible. Put my flat. We can tighten this. I remove the cover to be able to put this one on the top. So this one is sitting nice and tight. We have nothing to do with the cover. We can put the cover back now. So, 
basically there's a guide those the screws you go through the holes This is the plastic, you don't need to tighten it too much, but just make sure. So as you see this brand is M A N N man filter C30 153-1 uh, I believe from Amazon I bought it both for $70 so they're identical there is no left and right just make sure sitting nice in the place This side is clean because going to the engine. This side. So there are two pins in here. It needs to go to the slot here first, and then the back goes and gets locked. So at the same time, I'm trying to push this one here. I told you before one of my clip here missing so I ordered that one I'm checking to make sure it's not to the slot so with the flat I will tighten it Same thing.
make sure it's properly sitting. Yeah. So you can close this one too. Pretty much is it. Keep your fingers crossed. You can add a coolant. Drop the car a little bit, check the level again. Make sure it's not leaking. Good to go. So as I told you at the beginning of the video, um, any leak, any pipe that has a locking system can be fixed by replacing the O-ring. You see this one has an O-ring, this one has an O-ring for sure, it's a lock mechanism. Pull this one, pull it out, and there's an O-ring inside. So, I'm ready to put the coolant, because empty, everything is gone. So you can buy the coolant from the BMW dealer, or you can buy this one from Canadian Tire, which is designed for BMW, Jaguar, Mercedes, Mini, Smart, and Volvo for European car. And you have a gauge in the uh, coolant hosing, so you know where is the maximum. I prefer to go b b below the maximum a little bit and after driving to check the level if it needs to coolant add it so I can add. Thank you very much for watching. It was not the perfect video, but anyway, at least may give you some tips how to do uh, what to call it. The o-ring replacement and then stop any leak thank you very much for the watching don't forget to subscribe or uh, like the video have a good day everybody